hi guys uh, welcome today we will take a look at uh, the PWM module and uh, this is the second part of the tutorial in the previous tutorial we got familiar with the PWM and now it's time to program it the first one is the common mode so we will take a look at the common mode and uh, how we can program that in the common mode the basic uh, factor is that in the common mode all the four channels are basically loaded with the same sequence values so all the four channels will give the same output so let's see how we can program it so let's start so i will start with this uh, i will go to the pc and uh, go into the c directory here we have an rf 5 sak and uh, we go into the examples from the examples we go into the peripheral and uh, we will copy pwm from here pwm driver and we will go into my projects and paste it here I'm gonna rename it as PWM common so uh, we will open this and uh, I'm using an RF52832 so I will go into PCA10040 go into the blank open the SES folder open the EM project file so let me zoom in a little and uh, let's remove everything we will start from the scratch after working with the pwm uh, you will get to know how this uh, example works so once you are quite familiar with the pwm then you can come back and watch the original example and then you will get to know a lot of details but uh, before that let's program it one by one to make everything clear so first of all we need to see if our pwm is working our pwm module is configured or not so we will go into sdkconfig.h right click here click on the cmc's configuration wizard and uh, in the drivers if you look at the pwm legacy drivers and the pwm is enabled and if you go into the pwm and rfx here you can see we have uh, we have not enabled the internals because we will enable them from our configurations so right now it's enabled by default and uh, this is also enabled so make sure these two settings are enabled if you are using some other project uh, make sure these settings are enabled otherwise uh, even if you include the files for the pwm drivers it's not going to work make sure you have these drivers especially the pwm and uh, otherwise it's not going to work okay so we are good to go and we will start programming the pwm module so let's start from the base uh, so we have uh, some base frequency so we have to set up the base frequency and uh, for that we will just define some constants so the first constant is going to be the uh, top value in the counter so let's say m top and uh, let's give it 10,000 okay so this is going to be the base frequency and then let's say we want to take a step plus 100 in the counter value so a single step in this case is 100 so we will see this later once we are going to program everything then uh, things will be cleared so let's program other stuff okay so we are also going to use the both support package to initialize the leds because we are going to use the leds pin i'm also gonna define one more led so we can see how if if i connect an external led how it works and let me name it as led external and assign it to pin 22 okay we are good to go with this and uh, the next thing is now we need uh, some this is the variable that's going to hold this uh, value the step value uh, because we are going to use these step values uh, to save them in the sequences now this is really really important and uh, this is the main thing this is uh, the structure which is going to hold the values uh, for this time we are using the common mode so 
we will use the common structure and let's say we have uh, the sequence sequence values and let's say we, I'm just going to define 200 values so these 200 values will be played again and again and again it's similar to playing uh, a song so let's see some more stuff so we need another variable to manipulate the values these variables are going to be passed in unsigned integer 16 so I'm just creating this I'm not using a unsigned 32 now we need to initialize the common sequences so to initialize a common we need to create a function this is just going to be the base code and uh, uh, this is uh, for the common and we will see we can do some little changes and we will see how we can uh, use the pwm with the other stuff as well now we have to assign this array some values so for that i'm just going to use the for loop and here we have to use a simple algorithm so let me write the algorithm then we will then I will explain what's going on okay so this is a simple algorithm and it's going to assign uh, 200 values and uh, the 200 uh, by 200 I mean uh, this M step is 100 and is multiplied by 2 it's so it's going to be 200 values and uh, these uh, 200 values are assigned in this way so how these are assigned is uh, easy you can see here so here you can see how it works so it's, re it's really easy so in the first step let's say uh, the value is uh, 0 in the first step and uh, the step is 100 so it's going to be 100 in the first step in the next loop it's going to be 100 and uh, then we are going to add again one step and it's going to be 200 and in the third loop it's going to be 200 and then we will add one more step which is 100 then it's going to be 300 and similarly so on it's going to increment by 100 and it's going to increment by 100 and then that value is going to be assigned to the sequence of values from 0 to up till 100 so what about uh, the values from 101 and uh, up to 200 so these values will be assigned in this step so here as you can see it's telling m step plus i so in the first step it's going to be m step plus i which is sequence values m step plus i so it's going to be 100 and in the 100 uh, you are going to assign it m top which is what is m top uh, here in this case it's 10000 minus value and in the first step it's uh, 0 so it's going to be just 10000 in the next step the sequence value will be 100 plus 1 and uh, this will be 10000 minus 100 and it's going to be 9900 so similarly it's going to decrease and uh, these values are going to increase so basically it's uh, making a, a loop it's using this loop and uh, using this simple algorithm we can increment the values and then decrement the values like a triangle so basically these sequences are going to be once they are played they are going to increment and then decrement and we will see the same change with the LED okay so now we need to configure it so here we have to define the output pins so I'm just going to use the BSP and uh, the second pin I'm going to assign is that this one LED external oh. 
and uh, about the other pins uh, I'm not just gonna use them for other two channels we have four channels so I'm not gonna use them so so I'm just gonna use this simple constant which is going to say that it's not using these values now the enter priority next thing is the base clock so the base clock I'm going to use is 1 megahertz so it's going to be easy to do some calculations and the count mode would be up counting counting up to that specific value because the next thing is we have to pass that top value in our case it's 10,000 so I'm just gonna pass that M top and now we have to tell the loading mode so this one is the mode we will be using here in this case is the common so this is the mode we are going to use in this tutorial and the step mode now I'm going to initialize it so I'm going to use and I'm not going to pass any handler we can pass it the indirect handler after uh, the sequence is being played uh, this handler is going to be called so we are not going to use that we will see it later in the later tutorial and uh, I forgot I have to call this I have to create this instance so let's go here and define this instance And here the instance is zero because I'm using the PWM zero module. Okay, we are good to go with this. We have uh, configured the PWM and uh, we have passed the handle configurations and uh, the no value. So the basic settings are cleared. So now we need to play this sequence. So for that, we will create another function which is going to play these values like uh, I'm, I have already told it's like similar to playing the song so we have to call some function which is going to play this let's name it as pwm play so now we are going to use this sequence so here we have to give the, the sequence the values that we created And these are the values we have to give some attributes if we want to repeat these values or the sequence we can just put the number here for the number of repetitions we need and now we are going to call the main function which is going to play these values so here we can tell the count uh, like how many times we want to count that playback Either one time or two times or as many times as we want and I'm just going to put the one here to play it once and uh, then uh, I'm going to use a flag which is going to say that play them again and again so it's going to play them in the loop okay this function is finished and uh, we need to write another function to handle the log because we have to use that to see some stuff on the okay we have uh, the log as well so we have uh, initialized the log stuff and uh, we have configured the PWM the last thing now we have to just call these functions 
let's initialize the log and uh, make sure you change uh, the settings go into the CMC's configuration and go into the log and here in the log you go and see if the UART is enabled and uh, in the logger if you go into the logger you will see here deferred so disable that because we are not using the sleep instruction so it's not going to work so now it's going to work after changing that now we need to initialize the LEDs we will call these functions first of all we will initialize it so we have in called the initialization function and now we will play the we will now play the PWM so I call the play function and let's use some log messages and uh, let's create a loop empty loop so it's not going to exit okay so we have created that and uh, the PWM is started and everything is here and we have configured everything so Control plus S to save, click go to the build, click on this build and I uh, hope so we haven't made any mistake in the code. Okay, once the code is built, we have uh, finished the configuration and everything. Let's uh, make, uh, make sure your device is connected. So let's connect with the device, erase all and download. Oops, I haven't built it. Okay, it's built and it's going to download it. So once it's downloaded here as you can see the LED is smoothly turning on and turning off so it's basically playing these values and it goes to a full brightness and then it goes to a low brightness it's a small LED so maybe you can't see that so I'm gonna connect another external LED because you remember we have uh, also connected an external so it's going to be on pin 22 so I'm just going to connect it So here, as you can see, this uh, LED, this other LED is also uh, slowly blinking softly and uh, these uh, values are being played to the highest and then they go to low. So uh, you can see the LED's brightness are changing. One more thing you have seen here is that when this LED is uh, going to high brightness, this LED is going to low brightness. Uh, it's uh, because of the fact that this LED is working in the inverted signals and uh, this LED is working with the direct signals so I have explained this in a comment in the fifth tutorial where some, some somebody asked me why we use uh, logic zero to turn on the LED so there I have explained uh, this stuff so basically it's not a big deal so if you're confused about this this is just a single simple thing so here you can see these LEDs. Let's uh, play a little bit with this. So, as you know, that we have uh, 200, 100 values, and this LED is uh, smoothly going up and down. So, let's change the frequency and see what happens. So, I'm just gonna reduce the frequency from 10,000 to 5,000. Save it, build it, click on the target erase all and download it and let's see what happens now you can see it's blinking with a smooth delay so it's really good and uh, we can make uh, many different types of uh, sequences we can use these complex sequences for LEDs and uh, some other stuff which need uh, some specific signals and these uh, signals can be these special sequences so remember one thing here we are using the NRF common mode and uh, for NRF common we use this as well so these all values are common uh, are commonly loaded in all of the four channels this code along with the information of the functions will be available for download and the link would be in the description so be sure to check it out and uh, uh, make sure if you are new to my channel please uh, be sure to subscribe to my channel and hit the like button if you like this video and uh, I will create, uh, I will make more tutorials on the PWM, so be sure to watch them all and uh, get.
get used to of this stuff once you master this it's really fun to play with and uh, we can use them in uh, many commercial applications as well so hope so you have uh, uh, learned something new today thank you very much for watching see you in the next video